Okay, I wanted to do a quick rundown of the uh, GS911 um, that I just received. Um, basically, here it is. Uh, you get the uh, connector, um, and this is the USB version. As you can see, you get the connector and uh, USB cable. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and come over here, and uh, there's the... Uh, plug on the bike um, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and get that connected up okay it's on the bike attached to the computer via USB and uh, this is my K12 RS, it's a 2001, and uh, it's got to be on and in neutral for it to um, communicate with the ECU. So um, let's go uh, have a look at what the uh, software looks like. Okay, so here is the software. Um, I'm not going to go into the details of how to get it and how to download all that. Um, that's all on the website. But once you've downloaded it and you've got it, um, you come in here and uh, I hope you can see this okay, but you can select the uh, model bike you have. In my case, it's a K series bike. It's a K1200 RS uh, 2001. So I'm going to come down here and um, select that. And then I've got the anti-lock braking system here and the engine here. I'm going to go ahead and go in the engine and let's have a look at the ECU information. It's communicating with the bike and there you have it. Um, just uh, Matronic MA 2.4 um, and some information uh, here. Um, <clears throat> K12RS 96KW N1050. BMW part numbers, uh, Bosch part numbers, uh, ECU software number, um, manufacturer, manufacturer, idle actuator, and some other information. Uh, fault codes, let's go see if we've got any. Um, so there's two, but these are apparently from what it says here, they always um, occur even if the engine um, uh, is not running or, or cranked. These are hall sensors. Um, and then there's the option here to clear out the fault codes and let's have a look at the real-time values. Uh, it selects which uh, values I want. I'm going to go ahead and select all of them and there you have it. Um, basically these two buttons up here are for plotting the O2 sensor. Um, this is for um, logging the information to a comma separated values file We've got uh, RPM, battery voltage, engine temperature, intake air temperature, ambient air pressure, throttle position, uh, land of sensor voltage. As far as the input signals, output signals, we've got ignition angle, ignition dwell angle, injection time, fuel pump on or off, fan motor on or off, and tank venting valve uh, on or off. Um, come back to those in a minute. Uh, this is where we can uh, make sure the hall sensors are working. Uh, if I haven't done this before, I'd imagine that uh, you just, uh, um, you know, turn the crank and watch the sensors uh, active, go active and not active. Um, here's where you can use the uh, hall sensor to correctly set the ignition timing. And here's where you can do the TPS adjustment. Um, you know, I've, I've actually done this. You go through, you hit the start button, it goes through, it tells you everything you need to do. Um, you know, I won't get into any specifics at this point. I just kind of wanted to give an overview of, um, of uh, the latest uh, GS911. This is the uh, beta software. It's 11.03.5. Um, and uh, anyway. Real-time values, I thought I might um, just, um, oh, there's one more down here. Um, it didn't show before. It's the controller states, Landa 
Lambda closed loop control on or off. I'm not sure what that is. In fact, there's several on here that I'm not sure what they are, but I guess those are for a different, um, a, uh, a, a separate video. Uh, for now, let's just, um, you know, just have a look, really. And um, what I wanted to uh, do, I hope that these numbers are uh, come out okay. Um, but um, anyway, that's pretty much it. Um, I thought I might uh, give the uh, engine a quick turn here and so you can get a feel for how this <coughs> works.
had it. That's the uh, basic functionality of the GS911 um, as seen on a 2001K1200RS. Uh, thanks for looking.